Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Pete here at East City Coffee Shop for this edition of Hometown PTBO. And we have uh, my buddy Jason Dunn here joining us uh, today. Dunner, thanks for coming in. Although I didn't have to twist your arm when I said we were doing this at East City Coffee Shop. Oh, buddy, I was love all over this, right? Uh, you grew up in Peterborough, North End, actually lived on the same street as I moved on to. And then you, you moved, like, half a year after I moved on to Hopewell. Was there something yeah. I did, something I said, what we happened? Just kinda got the, we just got this weird, creepy vibe, so we gotta, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> uh, but that's where you grew up, that's where you started playing music, and take us from there. Yeah, um, actually, I grew up in the South End first. Did you really? I did, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. And now when I was 13, out. when I was 13, uh, I moved to Hopewell. And uh, I was playing music a little bit before, but that's where I kind of got my first band started on Hopewell. And uh, What was the name of the band? Green Cheese. Green Cheese. Mm -hmm. We were thought for sure we were going places. Yeah. Uh, we didn't. Um, again, we were like 13, but sure. whatever. Yeah, it's a but start. It, it, the, the passion was there, and uh, uh, when I was... 16 we started a band called hawk nelson yeah. which uh we we took pretty serious yeah and we and never did go we, we didn't stop and then we we did that till or i did that till i was 30. and then i wrapped it up and um six years ago moved back here best decision i ever made yeah you're back in your hometown but you got to see the world you got to play the world i mean what an experience that was i mean you were living a pretty good life there it was definitely got stores for the children and the grandchildren. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite memories was, um, I think about this often, was we had just finished like a European tour and we just finished playing uh, in like Amsterdam or somewhere and there was like 40,000 screaming people in an arena and the next morning I got on a flight and flew back to Toronto where my parents are going to pick me up because I didn't have a car. And, so, and I just remember just getting off the plane and just the, the smug look and like, oh, this kid, get out of the way, who do you, I'm like, if you only knew where I was last night, if like, yeah. you, you don't ever get to say that kind of stuff, and it's just, but there's something beautiful about that, you know, being back home where it doesn't matter who you are or what you did. Personally, I like that, Yeah. and there's no, you don't have to put up this front where you have to be someone that you're not, or that you have to, it's, you don't have to bring your job home with you, which, um, I, I appreciate. Yeah, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You've been able to live that rock star life, literally, and then just kind of come home, as you say, and just be a regular dude hanging out at the coffee shop. That's it. Yeah. He kind of like me, minus I, yeah. I didn't have the rock star <laughs> career. <laughs> Dad, can you take me back to the airport at 6 a.m.? And My parents always did, which is awesome. So. Oh, they're great. Um, shout out to them, the Duns. And, and your brothers played a little bit, too. Didn't you have a band, like the Dunn Brothers? Or the, what was it? There is a... I, sorry, I don't know how much time oh, we got. just you playing well, all the instruments. I've got, what, what, what I've got stories for days, Pete. But yeah. anyways, I... Tell us in 30 seconds. I wrote this I wrote this number of songs for like Celtic music yeah. and I had a bunch of my buddies in Nashville record it with me and I branded it as a oh, family band. I thought it was Jeremy and No, oh, but okay. like we we did a couple concerts here in town at the Gordy Best and uh, it was a great time. But I was heading back to Nashville and I was driving down and I brought my youngest brother Jake with me and he was like 15 at the time. Yeah. And we got stopped at customs, and the border guy, who's like a young guy, hot shot, right? And he's sure. like, uh, why are you going to Nashville? I'm like, I live there. Who's this? This is my brother. He's just coming for a visit, whatever. So he's like, open up the back of your truck. So I open up the back. He took a look. He comes back around. He's like, I'm going to ask you again, but this time tell me the truth. He's like, why are you going to Nashville? I'm like, uh, I live there. And he's like, well, tell me why your brother's face is on the back of all these CDs. <laughs> so I had all these CDs, and I'm like, Sir, you're not going to believe me when I tell you, I'm like, that's not a real band. <laughs> like, I was just, he thought I'm bringing them down, smuggling them down to Nashville to play music. But I was like, did anyways. You have, did you have to break the news the Allman Brothers aren't all brothers oh, either? Oh, I was just, that was terrible. But. Or maybe they are, I, I don't know. Oh, no, but all my brothers' faces were on the CD. Yeah, yeah. And so I just, yeah, anyway. That's a good story. It made for a good story. I like that. Who, who's a band you came across? We asked Neil Sanders in this a uh, couple episodes ago about, I mean, Bruce Springsteen showed up at one of his concerts once. Uh, Gene Simmons from Kiss. Like, who have you shared a stage with or been able to get up on the stage with and play? One tour we were on, um, we were in, uh, I think it was Phoenix or, or Denver, and it was one of those places, like, kind of in the West. Um, Brian Head Welch from the band Korn was there oh, wow. in attendance. Yeah. And I didn't know he was there, but he was front and center, and I stopped the show, or after a song, whatever, and I was like, dude, who are you? You look like a scary Jesus. 
and everyone's like, everyone but me knew who it was. Right. And I'm just blah, blah, blah. And he met me at the after the show with a, you know, he was obviously joking around, but that was kind of a funny, uh, just a that's funny a, little that's story a, there. That is a good one, man. That's pretty good. All right, a couple quickie questions before we wrap it up. Let's get back to talking about Peterborough a little bit. You obviously love coming to East City Coffee Shop. What other places do you guys like to, to visit? Uh, I'm a big Chuck's guy. Chuck's oh, Roadhouse. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Yeah. Back before it was, uh, what was it, Ricky's? Yeah, the former Ricky's mm -hmm. building. Yeah. Yeah, Chuck's is good. Chuck's their, is their, dra cheap. their drafts are like that. It's that, pretty that serious. Yeah. And their burgers are uh, six bucks or whatever. You can't go wrong. No, no, no. that's a good pick, man. I went okay. there for the Super Bowl with my wife. Okay, I'm going to put you on a line. I'm going to put you at center. Who's on your wings? Oh, Jason Daw, Ty Domi. Jason Daw, a little toughness. Lots Num of Number 10, scoring. number 28. Uh, or was Domi 8 Domi back wore in the day. 8 for yeah, the beats, back in the day, but Jason yeah. Daw, which you probably had the poster on your wall, the Dawson, Dawson poster. Uh, and Ty Domi, okay. Two Jasons and a tie. Gotcha. Favorite goalie of all time for the Peets. Oh, Andrew Verner. A Verns fan. Yeah, buddy. We interviewed Verns right here. Come on. Yeah, he had a transplant of some sort. Uh, I think it was a uh, kidney transplant, I think, yeah. Well, I mean, the Verner boy soon matched, you know, the, the tandem. Was yeah, just, yeah. Uh, unstoppable. Yeah. Come on. Great mustache on boys too. <laughs> All right, uh, Calgary Flames fan. Why? How, how did that? Oh, happen? buddy, this. Well, '89. I was like probably what six years old. Yes. And that's kind of the year I was really sure, into okay. it. Sure. Okay. You're big then, Terry uh, Crisp Joe Otto. Oh, guy. buddy, Theo yeah. Theo Fleury, man. Theo Fleury. He's okay. My, he's my guy still. All right. You sang the anthem at a Pete's game one night. Will you, will you do it again? They asked. I doubt it. What? It was a one and done? Of course, Part of course. The fun? You know, leave, leave them wanting more. Okay, right? yeah. Listen, Dunner, uh, you're always good to step up. You did the uh, Peterborough Sign War song for us, just like last second. <laughs> you rocked it. We appreciate it. What's in the coffee before we let you go? How do you take the coffee? Here? Uh, normally, I get Splenda and the cream, but I didn't want to be rude and bother anyone for it. And Can we get some Splenda no, for it's, it's Mr. Fine. Dunn it's fine. here, please? It's, it's like, fine. The rock star no, would like I'm some just Splenda. I'm just now. It's yeah. fine. And more coffee, uh, absolutely, why not? Uh, Thanks, buddy, there. appreciate it. Happy to do it. Hometown PTBO, everyone, brought to you by Darling Insurance. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Hometown PTBO, brought to you by Darling Insurance.